here with Tonka Hero. We're going to talk about things. We're going to talk about bass fishing. We're going to talk about life on the road. We're going to talk about bowling or whatever other sports you like. Yeah. We're going to talk sure. about girls. Sure. We're going to talk about girls some more, maybe. <laughs> yeah. You know, good. being bachelors and all, we got we got we got to oh, talk yeah. about some women. Oh yeah. All right. All right. So tell me, talk how, What what's your favorite? way to catch fish cranking flipping what is it uh shallow cranking shallow cranking what's your favorite old square bill or, or yeah i like lucky crap okay 1.5 2.5 if you only had one would you have the 1.5 versus the 2.5 i take 2.5 because that's you know easier to throw catch bigger fish all right all right i got the privilege of marshalling with you uh at dardanelle this year and, uh, of course, I like, you know, I fish the FLW Tour, but when I get a chance, I want to go see some of these bodies of water. And I hop in, and I got to marshal with you. You spent the whole day, and I was disappointed because I didn't get to see you crank at all. Right. That's just that day. That the day. next day, I caught pretty good. Did you crank them up the next day? Uh, actually, spin up it the next day. Okay. I caught some on the square bill. Okay. But I ended up made the top 12 this oh, Sunday. Yeah. Nice. That day I fished with you was the toughest day we had. It was. It was a very slow bite. You spent the whole day, though, and you flipped. And, the, and, and I've said this to other fishermen, too, because I get asked, hey, what's it like to marshal? Or who's some of the draws you had? And I said, well, you know, I've had a lot of everybody's good draws. I said, but Takahiro's mechanics, when it comes to pitching, was really good mechanic. You're really good pitching. I mean, I didn't expect that from you because I've always seen you as a square bill fisherman, as a moving bait fisherman, but your mechanics and your ability to pitch, I was impressed with it. Yeah, I, uh, if you have to slow down, you have to know how to flip and pitch. Yeah. That's my secondary favorite way to catch fish. Yeah. See, people people, people out there in the MLF don't know these things. That's what I want to dig around. What is your, what's your, would you rather fish that day we fished uh, beaver style baits all day long, but with when you are pitching and flipping, do you like to throw a jig or or plastics better? I uh, kind of goes the more like plastics nowadays. Okay. Yeah. Well, tell us about your rod and reel combos that you use and your line and such. Yeah, I just go with my favorite dial flipping stick, pitching stick, with go the dial with the two reels with the sun line. In a fast reel. Yeah, I do. I like to have high speed, like seven point nine, sometimes you know eight point something. Okay. Yep. Does Daiwa make an eight? Yeah, they do. They make eight point one to one. Okay. Yeah, for the Satura. Do you see a big difference? And I, I haven't bought an eight, eight to one reel yet. Have you? Do you see much of a difference in the seven to one versus eight to one? I do. Big difference. Uh, even seven point nine to one to eight point one to one makes okay. a difference. Okay. Yes. You you. You know this right away. You can pick up slack lines super fast, and you don't waste much time. Okay. What yeah. What's your favorite line? Do you Do you keep a pretty even with twenty pound line, or I go sun line uh, twenty. You know, if, uh, shooter. Sometimes I go great sixty six pound. Okay. But that's only two line for I I use flipping fishing. Okay. Fluorocarbon most of the time, but when you get into when do you get into your braid use? If I had a fish around the heavy matted stuff, like around the heavy wood, okay. I'd rather use braid. Okay. And especially water is off guard, like the day we had fish together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd rather go the braid. All right. What, uh, tell us again your flipping stick, your Daiwa flipping stick that you use. What, what is I, it? Uh, that's the Japan only model. Uh, they call it Black Graven. Okay. Uh, I, that was seven, uh, seven feet three inches. Okay. It's like not too heavy, not too light. It's just like you know, like thirty percent tip, seventy percent backbone. That's a good flipping pitching stick. Okay. You know, now that I pitch more than flip. Right. You know, like ninety percent time I pitch, so I like to have those, you know, little shorter rods. I have good accuracy, so I can have good hook set. Okay. So I can pitch easier to have a little softer tip. Okay. But unfortunately, they don't sell it here. But uh, you know, that that's what I use. All right. Day. Yep. You've been with Dial a long time, haven't you? I am. I've been with Dial almost 20 years now. Do you remember their old Light and Tough series? I do. Silver. Yes. Yeah. Can you get your hands on any more of those? No, I don't. <laughs> not, not have one anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I I, I uh, I'm a big fan of that particular rod, especially their seven and a half foot. 
uh, their seven six telescopic one. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. The yeah. Danny designed that. Yes. Yeah, the yeah. Griffin pigeon. I know I could sell every one of those I could get my hands on. If I could get my hands on, I could sell every one of them. Yeah. So if you come across something, make sure you go to me. I up. remember that. Okay. <laughs> All right. What is, uh what do you like to do when you're not fishing talk? I I do like uh, you know now I, I get into the go kart. I, I like to watch motor sports, especially okay. Formula One racing. And I have to get tired to just watch the TV. Now I start doing it myself, you know. The go kart is fun. So are you you're an avid go karter yourself now? Yeah, I am. I'd like to see this. Yeah, I just ordered brand new. How <laughs> fast? At the go kart truck, I'm going to Dallas Karting Complex. It, it's it's a you know in the Dallas. And one of the best ones in the whole country. They uh, straight and they go like 80 plus miles. Really? <laughs> yeah, they do. How 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 what horsepower is your? It's your uh mind? it's a 125 cc, the two shifter, you know, paddle shifting, and the uh, and the horsepower. I'm not sure exactly. It depends how you tune up the engine, I guess. But uh, it, it's the acceleration, the braking, the cornering G, it's like unbelievable. It's it's a great workout for me the off season. Really? I, I do a couple of sessions for the go kart, then go to go to twenty four fitness and then just, you know, it, then I run sweat mirror, then do the stretch. It's you know, it's I do like a three times a week. Nice. It's it's a great workout to stay in a fit. Do you, do you have more than one golf co or a um, go kart now though? No, no, they have a bunch of rental go kart out okay. there. Y yes. Okay. Yeah, I spent last three years in the rental go kart, and I and sometimes those shifter cars. Do you, do you have a special trailer you pull it in, or just a no? Plastic? I just leave it over there. Leave it there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's it's super well maintained, you know, go kart track, and it's uh, you gotta use your eye, brain, you know, right hand, left hand, and you know, left foot to brake in, right hand axle. I mean, you use the whole body. Yeah. It's it's awesome. If you do that. Driving a bass boat for the long run, like feels like nothing. Really? Yeah. So that's just the point is my my between the tournament, I had my off time, free time, the off season. I want to, you know, the good workout, stay in the fit. Then I also eat healthy, so I can, you know, go on the road during the tour season. I don't want to get too tired of it, you know, the fishing every day. Right. So that's kind of things I really enjoy. My, do my do you race time. in other people? Not yet. Are you going yeah. to get to that stage? I, I, maybe, but I don't want to, you know, get danger. It, you know, I don't want to get hurt. You know, okay. if you get into racing, you might get hit from somebody. You know, a lot of stuff happening. Or push you know, yourself so, harder. To yeah, be yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm right now. I just enjoy those speeds. You know, in my own practice. That's, you know, <laughs> it sounds like a lot of fun. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Sounds like an, another little expensive little hobby. No, you gotta have a hobby. Yeah. You gotta have a hobby, you know. So that's that's what I do. That's cool. So what uh, how far is that that uh you don't keep nothing at your house? No. Okay. So all right. What do you uh what do you uh what do you do nightlife? Do you have any nightlife at all? Do you ever go to out to with friends or a social uh, life or Well, you know, I've been gone so much. So uh, now they all my friends get married, you know, I had a kid. <laughs> you getting left behind? Yeah, I, I feel like, you know, I, I, I have to go by myself, you know. And you don't want to go by yourself. It's not fun, you know. Well, guys our age, you get single. We're, yeah. we're sing I've been single for a yeah. long time. It, it uh -huh. is hard. As a bachelor, it's hard because all your friends are married. They yeah. have kids. And yeah, they're too busy. Schedules. Yeah, yeah. And then we got our fishing schedules. Uh -huh. And mm -hmm. they're like, well, what happened? Before you know it. Well, there might not be any women out there for us. Do you think we'll ever find uh, Mrs. Takahiro? Uh, I'm sure uh, they're out there. <laughs> you know, it's always out there somewhere. Do you ever do an online dating? Uh, used to be. Yeah. It's had too much work, you know. <laughs> what's, what's is easier, dating or fishing? The fishing is way easier. <laughs> I can tell you right now, for me. <laughs> More predictable? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Good. Yeah. All right. If uh, on this major league fishing, tell tell me what what do you think about the guys? I know we're all friends and we all spend a lot of time together. What what do you think about this major league fishing format and, and tournament circuit? That you know we fish different circuits and the same circuits, and then 
now all of a sudden we've got major leagues fishing. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? I mean, is it exciting to you? Do you look forward to these events? I'm very excited about this. It's uh, it's like for me the beginning fishing competition. I got into it because I want to be the best. I want to fish against the best guy. I want to see how they do. I want to you know come to this country to, to try so many different types of lakes and river river system we don't have in Japan. Mm -hmm. And this is I'm not doing for the money technically. I mean they they stop you know having some prize money, but I, I'm telling you this is like my part of my heart. I want to do it. It's your passion. It is. It is my passion to fish against those guys. So I mean I really enjoy more than any tournament I fish in. Yeah. This two tournament I do a year, it's like I put everything. Yeah. I mean it's uh it's challenging. I really enjoy. Uh, you know I I just. It feels great to be with those groups of guys, to be here. Good, good. Pick me one guy that would fit in well if you took him back home with you. Fishing, fishing and just generally just getting around your hometown back home. Who would fit in well? You mean fishing in Japan? Yeah. Who would adjust and, and maybe do all right there? Uh, the guy likes maybe a finesse guy. Like, okay. uh, I don't Okay. Should be perfect. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he loves Japan anyway. Are the yeah. girls over here in in the United States better, uh, more appealing than the, the girls back home? Uh, How would I fit in over there? I mean, I like to run around, get wild. You, you gotta come to what, Japan. You gotta come to see it. It's a lot of people. Oh yeah, yeah. A lot of choice. <laughs> A lot of choice. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Yeah. You got to come to Japan to see it someday. Good deal. Yeah. Is that an invite? Did you just invite me? Uh, Will you pay for my right. ticket? <laughs> I don't have to buy you a ticket. Why not, man? <laughs> I'll buy you a ticket here. You come to Missouri sometime. I've been to Missouri many times. You come to my place I in never Missouri. See, uh, is there good chicks in the Missouri? There's a couple. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Let me find out next time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we just got done talking with talk.